Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So it's been a while everyone knows that many Android 13 ROMs have been rolled out for our device Poco F1. Every ROM is amazing and astonishing in their own way which holds some amazing features and stability and performance. So today we are going to talk about such ROM which will actually give you the experience of using a pixel based device. So the ROM comes out of the box with Android 13 and this is pretty much stable, smooth and amazing in its own terms. So the ROM is named as Pixel Plus UI of version 5.0 running on Android 13. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see what all this ROM holds for us. So here we go, let's first look into the system information. So talking about the system information on about phone section, you will see that the phone is running on the latest Android 13 out of the box and also the latest security patch of 5th of October 2022 and everything else. So the kernel version is something they have their own and that's something good. So that's all in about panel section, they have beautifully included everything in such panel and which will give you every information about your phone and about device now let's move towards the pixel plus ui customizations to be honest they have included a section called as pixelizer where they have mentioned every customization in such beautiful manner in the form of tab clicking on every customization you will get all the generic ones which you get in all the android 13 roms which is from the community itself with respect to accent, themes, some buttons customization, some lock screen and what all you can expect. To be honest, they haven't included much customizations but they also took care that they must include which is actually needed by the user and which will actually be usable for their everyday task. So that's something good that they haven't bloated a whole lot of customization but only included the ones which are actually needed and that's really good. Regarding theme then you will find all the customization regarding theme, status bar and notification. They haven't blotted anything such which will confuse a user and they will leave out doing nothing. You can easily just navigate whatever customization you want, clicking on it you will get it enabled and you can use it on everyday basis. So that's really really nice. So in terms of customization too, this ROM satisfy all the needs and you won't get any type of disappointment regarding it. Talking about the home screen customization, then you will get all the generic customizations and features which you get in Android 13 out of the box. Theme icons works pretty much fine and stable. Clicking on theme icon, you will see that how the icons got changed as per the wallpaper and that's really really nice. Clicking on widgets, you will get all the generic widgets from Android 13 out of the box. Clicking on it, you can get this famous and well-known widget of clock where you can customize the clock face as per your required and yes, you are good to go with it. So that's it in terms of customization which is pretty much good and I really loved it. Now let's play some games that is the gaming performance on this ROM. To be honest, in the miscellaneous section in Pixelizer, you can see that there's nothing which says about the gaming mode. And also searching on the settings, you will find nothing which says regarding gaming mode or gaming improvements. So it means they haven't explicitly included anything regarding gaming. But never mind, as you know, we always test everything to see how the ROM is working. So in my case, I am using BJMI Mobile to see how the gaming performance is in this ROM. And without any further ado, here we go. So this is the gameplay of the BGMI Mobile which is a deathmatch and also you can see that the gaming performance works pretty much good. I have played BGMI for 2-3 to three times and I really found it really really good. So in terms of gaming too, you can rely on this ROM and you can play some heavy games like BGMI and other high FPS game without any issues. Let's now jump into the battery performance of this ROM. So talking about the battery performance, then this ROM will leave you with about 4 to 5 hours of screen on time on normal usage. 
This is the stats but on my experience once I charged 200% then it gave me a battery life which at the end of the day left me with about 10 to 20% so that's something good. Overall the battery performance is decent and you can't expect much but you are a person who use social media applications, some calling messaging applications and some 2 to 3 gameplays in a day then this ROM is perfect for you but this battery performance is not gaming centric by any means. Now let's talk about CTS that is safety net check bypass. So this is the safety net check application and you can see it gets passed out of the box which is kind of obvious nowadays in all the ROMs which is not lost based. So yes you can use all the banking applications and finance based applications without any issue the CTS passes by default. Now let's snap some photos that is photography section of this ROM. So to be honest you will get the greatest of all time camera on this ROM which is the Xiaomi camera which you get in Poco F1 in the stock ROM version. So everyone knows that this camera is really amazing because this camera actually shoots 4K 60fps videos and that's really really amazing. You can get 4K 60fps video and HD videos up to 1080 pixel that is again 30 and 60fps. So in terms of camera you really don't need to flash any type of gcam until and unless you want some different options because this camera is enough to satisfy all your needs. It giving you 4k recording what else you need in photography section and also you will get some AI HDR modes in terms of photography once you enable it you will get some good quality of photos as per your requirement. So in terms of camera that's a big kudos because they actually included this camera which shoots 4k videos and really snaps some amazing shots so you are good to go in this section too. Now let's jump into the security system and the direct sound in answer. So in terms of security you will get such panel where you will see all the check marks regarding security and also something called a screen lock where you will get what type of screen locks are available and sadly you won't get face unlock still it hasn't been included in android 13 rom so it's kind of obvious but yes rest all the options in this dashboard you will see clearly and that's something good and something different in terms of sound in answer then moving to the settings in the sounds and vibration just scroll down at the last and you will see direct sound in answer or me sound in answer. So keeping on that toggle you will see all the options regarding the type of headset you want and the preset you want and you are good to go. You will also get enable hi-fi where you will get some nice amount of ice noise isolation. Now let's talk about some numbers that is Antutu scores. So under the scores of this ROM is pretty much confusing. It ranks at about 264,628 which is really really less in my opinion. But again to be honest I never rely on numbers and I see the real time results as per I use the ROM and its performance. So in my opinion the ROM actually works pretty much good as compared to the scores I and I don't really believe the scores for this ROM. But yes, for want to see the scores, for them, this is the Antutu scores. Now, that's the time for conclusion and my final words. To be honest, the ROM is pretty much average. And let me tell you guys, this ROM is made to give experience of somehow using a Pixel device. I can't compare this ROM with Pixel Experience ROM as that is something which gives you the pure experience of using a Pixel device but still they have tried their best and have included some things which are really amazing like with respect to customizations they haven't bloated much things and with respect to all the other stuff they have included and kept the balance of Android 13 and their own community customizations very well. So that's something good. If you are a person who don't like much customizations and wants some little bit of customization and a whole lot of stability then this ROM is made for you. 
so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such contents upcoming until then see you again in the next time peace out